Hey guys! So today I have another review on a new palette from BH Cosmetics and it is the Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yeah. Um, okay, so this book came out like a long time ago and they're making a movie out of it. Which is kind of cool because I remember when it came out and I thought it was pretty, pretty funny. So I'm definitely like looking forward to kind of seeing the movie. But without further ado, this is the palette. So upon first glance, it's alright. Like, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you got a nice array of warms and cool tones in this palette. Plus you have a highlight, a blush. I suppose this is a blush, but I would probably use this more as an eyeshadow. It's gorgeous, but hot damn, that would be like one hell of a blush on someone as pale as me. Just saying. So, let's get into the swatches. So, getting into the swatches, I'm going to swatch the first row, the second row, and then the blushes and whatnot. So, there is the first four. The top one is kind of just a buttery matte shade. It's really nice. It goes on pigmented. It's not bad at all. At all. And then the next one is definitely a gold shade. And then you have kind of a rosy goldy type shade. Definitely in the metallic range. And a nice matte brown. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's really not bad at all. So the last two in that top row. We have another kind of satin matte brown. And this really nice metallic-y kind of chocolate brown really really pretty and this is just one swatch of each they're really pigmented it's awesome moving into the second row so moving into the second row we have another matte that's up here it's a little bit more pinky toned a little less yellow toned and then we have this lovely metallic lilac -y shade oh it's so pretty and then this really pretty kind of satin dark purple shade Oh gosh, that color is so pretty. It is this kind of gunmetal, silvery, purpley type tone. It's gorgeous. And then the last two for the eyeshadows is this dark, literally gunmetal gray and black. And really the pigmentation on those is not bad at all. All of these went on really nice. I had very little fallout when I used them. Um, for the most part, the look that I did today was this lilac all over the lid, this purple in the crease, and a little bit of this blush down here in the crease just to blend things out, and this buttery color as well. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And last but not least, we're going to do these three down below. Okay, so these are the three face colors that are down below. And you have this really gorgeous highlight shade, which is the highlight I am wearing today. Just beautiful, buttery soft, blends in beautifully. There's no sparkly chunks or anything like that, so really nice highlight. This blush I built up a little bit more so that you could see, but it is also the blush I am wearing today. Really, really nice dusty rose type color, very flattering. I, I really like this blush. It's super pretty. And then this last one down here, I'm pretty sure this is a blush as well. It is a peachy tone with a gold reflect to it. Really gorgeous. Honestly, I think I will be using that as an eyeshadow just because, I mean, I guess with a light hand I might be able to use it as a blush. But it is pretty dark for my skin tone. But overall, really, really pretty. So, would I recommend this palette? If these are your types of tones, if you like having that mixture of warm and cool tones, then yeah, it's really nice. The pigmentation is great. I don't think that there's a bad shade in here. I think it's really nice. It's inexpensive, like, I don't know, $13 when I went on the website. So, really cool. I like the packaging. It's got a nice big mirror. And, I mean, the packaging is, it's kind of morbid, but it's like, really cute too. <laughs> so I would recommend this if these are your types of shades. 
If you like more brighter tones, maybe not so much, but they are super pigmented. They do blend out nicely. With a light hand, you're not going to get a whole lot of fallout. Today, I did not get any fallout, so I was very happy about that. I mean, swatching them, they all go on beautifully. They're, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, overall, I'd say this palette is a win, and you should go out and get you some. <laughs> I hope you found this review helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye! Really, Owen? Having one of those days, one of those days.